back from my bulletin board that I'm creating with the Blowforge laser cutter. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make these sweet, awesome shapes in almost no time. So my friends, let's get cracking. Alrighty friends, so the way to do this super fast is to pick what you wanna find and put the word icon after it. When you've got an icon, you can click on that file, right click it, and do save image as. Now I'm gonna put these in my clip art folder. You can see I was playing with some other planes earlier that were way too detailed. You really need to stick with icons for this trick to work. Once you have your image, start a new tab and I want you to find a site called picksvg.com. Helps if you can spell. But when you get there, this amazing little website lets you upload a picture and turn it into a sweet SVG for laser cutting. It is that easy. So they have details you can pick, and then you can invert it. They've got different ones. So I'm gonna just run through the different styles to show you. This has thicker lines, it looks like. This one, the lines get a little thinner. Let's check invert three. That's a little more thick. Let's check invert four. Ooh, this would be the complete opposite. That would be interesting for shading it. I'll show that in a different video. I'm gonna check the the ready version one, ready version two, ready version three. And the one that I'm gonna go back to is invert number two. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna cut out the shape of that jet for me so that I can put it on my bulletin board. I'm gonna hit download SVG. I'm gonna put it in my keychains folder, which makes no sense, but it's what I do. I am gonna change the name to jet and hit save and let's head to the Glowforge and make ourselves a cool shape. All right, friends, so here I am in the Glowforge software. Let's add our artwork. Remember, we're gonna do upload. We're not looking for the clip art one. Remember, I put it in my keychains folder and it was called jet.svg. I will actually show you in a minute how that works differently. So when I bring in this artwork, I can then drop it in. Because it's an SVG, you can scale it and keep all your settings. And also because it's an SVG, you can enter the settings to cut it. So I'm gonna use my special tag board setting. Boom, that's where my jet's gonna be. It's gonna have double lines, which is gonna be a little bit silly. And that may be something I need to adjust. We'll take a look afterwards though. Maybe it'll look cool when I cut the two pieces out and set it in. So I'm gonna have to analyze that afterwards. Real quickly, let me show you what happens if we do that original file. If we go back to the clip art, and I grab that original vector image jet. It does come in with a sweet shape, but the only option with this one is to engrave it. Uh, there is no cut because it's a bitmap, and you can tell that when it's on top of it. So I'm gonna click on that one and delete it. I've got my settings set. I'm gonna select my material. I am using my custom one millimeter tag board, which is cool because I get my piece that I can use for the bulletin board and I don't have to worry about painting it or making it fancy. Let's hit print and see how sweet this little critter cuts out. All right, friends, so everybody's favorite part, tapping that magic button. And then let's watch the little critter cut. So it's hard to do one faster than that. I can't even slow down that to make it a time lapse. It's just going to be a cut. Because I was working super tiny because dug on it, I am frugal. I don't like to waste anything. So let's see how cute my little jet looks. That, my friends, is pretty darn sweet. Alrighty, friends, so there you have it. In mere minutes, you can cut out cool things to use on a bulletin board. Everybody knows that anything you do to make your school look a little better is always a good thing, so I'm excited to go get these put up there. I'm going to use all kinds of different paper. I'm doing the one millimeter tag board, but I also think I can just cut it with sweet laser cutter paper. Uh, that may cut even faster, which is pretty crazy because this was super fast. Friends, I will put a link to pick 2 svg in the bottom, so if you want to find it, you can real quickly. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. 
Have a great day.